Oh, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Um, yeah, you probably are noticing a little bit of a different background in my video. <laughs> so I had the opportunity to um, come home and spend some time with my family. So um, for this week, I will be doing it live from my parents' house. <laughs> So uh, yeah, a little different from my office, but um, there's also a dog in the background, so you might hear a bark or two. A uh, little bit different of a setting, but we're still going to go through and stick with our same stretches, stick with our mindfulness. Um, yeah, hope you guys all had a really restful weekend and enjoyed that third day off as we honored those men and women who gave their lives for our country. So um Thank you for that to all those who um, have served and are still serving in our military. Uh, we, we recognize you guys this weekend. Um, also, I am kind of in the idea of letting go of control right now. <laughs> so, right, our, uh, our world's a little chaotic. There's a lot going on around. And um, sometimes we just need to see what we can try to release and let go of. And I thought today's quote was fitting for that. It says, the goal of meditation isn't to control your thoughts. It's to stop letting them control you, right? So when we show up to our mindfulness practice or our meditation practice, we're not necessarily trying to control our mind or control where the thoughts go. We are trying to acknowledge that these thoughts are popping up and then see if we can let go of the fact that maybe they're holding on to us, right? And sometimes those thoughts come in the form of worry or anxiety um, or we just get fixated on one thing and that's all we keep thinking about. And in a sense, those thoughts are controlling us. So with mindfulness, with breath work, with meditation, we're simply seeing if we can take the time and give ourselves the space to be released from the control of our thoughts. Um, and that's what we'll continue to do today. So uh, we'll go ahead with our stretches. We'll do like we do every day. Um, and then we're also going to go back to um, the progressive muscle relaxation where we tighten our muscles and then we let them go, right? So we can feel the juxtaposition of that. And what we're trying to do with that is not only practice that in our body, but then in our mind, right? Feel the control that sometimes is up there and then see if we can practice letting it go. So that'll be our practice. Um, like I said, little different background, little different setup. There's a dog barking in the background, um, but we're gonna still do the same thing. We'll keep rolling with it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get this Tuesday started. All right, you guys? Cool. Definitely a little bit of a different setup than at home. So I was able to finagle some stuff in my parents' house that it gives me a very similar setup. Got my coffee here, got my stretches. Um, they got a big TV behind me. I don't think we'll be watching anything on that during these videos, but I'm sure there's some childhood photos of me on these bookshelves. Maybe if you guys are lucky, I'll pull one up at some point this week. <laughs> All right, so wherever you are at, come, let's find our comfortable starting position. Bring your feet flat to the floor. Put a small bend in the knees. Feel your hips heavy. Lower half of the body is rooted and grounding towards the floor. Spine is long and lifted. Sit up nice and tall as you relax your shoulders down. And then we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in, open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, open your eyes back up. Come on back into the space that you're in. And we'll begin with our stretches. So um, starting with our legs, our lower extremities here. Bring them straight out in front of you as best as possible. 
And then we'll start by pointing and flexing our feet here. Good, just start to get the blood flowing, get the body moving. I don't know about you guys, but for me, after a long weekend, I'm feeling a little stiff, ready to get back into my stretches. Good, and don't forget, as always, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, you can close your eyes and see if the body can energetically move. Try to visualize here. Good, a couple more breaths, just like this. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. All right, go ahead and keep those legs straight out in front of you. But we'll go ahead and rest our heels on the floor and then have your toes drawing back in towards your face. So we're going to flex the feet here. Bottom of the feet should be showing. Take a deep breath in as we sit up nice and tall and then reach your fingers in the direction of your toes. Maybe they'll touch your toes. Maybe they just come to your shins or your thighs, wherever you're at though. Feel the spine long and lifted. And keep the breath moving slow and steady. Good, and then just start to breathe into this motion, breathe into this posture. Notice what you feel on the back side of your legs. Perhaps you notice the calves and the hamstrings start to soften slowly release. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving slow and steady here. Hmm. Good. Take another deep breath in and exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back up to seated. Awesome job. Go ahead, bring your feet flat to the floor again and let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into the inside of our thighs here. So this is our hip adductor muscles. And we're going to just stretch our legs in opposite directions here. So gently opening up the muscles on the inside of the thighs. Maybe you're using your hands or your forearms to add a little extra pressure. Or just continue to use the muscles of the hips as you pull your knees away from one another. And then once again, come back into this moment. Return to the breath. Maybe relax the shoulders a little bit. Let go of any tension in the jaw. Hmm. Good. And just keep the breath moving slow and steady here. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Come on back up to seated. Draw those knees back together. Starting position. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Awesome job. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the back side of our hips here. Uh, into the piriformis, the glute muscles, everything right around here um, in the back side of our seat. So we'll sit up nice and tall. Legs are still heavy, grounding through the floor. Take a deep breath in as you sit up nice and tall. And then we'll start with the right knee. Draw that up into the torso, into the chest. Mm, good. And then continue to breathe, feeling into the back side of the right hip. If it feels okay, you can bring this leg over the other and just notice. Notice if there's a difference in the pull or sensation in the muscle. Hmm. Good. And then continue breathing here. Smooth and steady. Creating space with the breath in and relaxing any tension with the breath out. Nice job. Take another deep breath in and exhale slowly release. Nice job, you guys. All right, we'll go ahead and switch sides. So inhale once more, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, we'll bring that left leg up into the chest, into the torso here. 
Again, breathing into the back side of the left hip. If it feels okay, crossing the leg over the opposite leg. And again, just noticing. Noticing what it feels like. Mm, noticing the breath. Good. Just coming into this moment. Trying to let go of any control that might be holding on. Good, take another deep breath in and exhale, slowly release, let it go, you guys. Nice job, let's take a breath to reset, inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, let's go ahead and get into our spinal muscles, our trunk here. So we're going to keep our feet in that starting position, feet are flat, hips are heavy, legs are rounding towards the floor. Take a deep breath in as you sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist over to the right here. Maybe grabbing a hold of a chair, maybe just the side of your leg, wherever it feels good to get a little extra leverage. And then just continue to breathe. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe looking over your right shoulder. Mm. Uh, keep the breath moving slow and steady. Mm. Nice job. Feeling into the muscles, easing into the stretch. No forcing, just releasing. One more deep breath in, and as you exhale, slowly, slowly come back through center. <sighs> nice job, you guys. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So inhale once more, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist over to the left here. Good, once again, continuing to breathe nice and easy. Create length, create space with the inhale. And as you exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe bringing the gaze over the left shoulder. Good. Just continuing to ease into the posture here. No forcing, no pain. Breath is smooth and steady. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back through center. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good. With our legs and our hips heavy, we're going to keep them right where they're at. And then round forward here. Uh, bringing your hands maybe down to the floor. And just allowing the back body to start to open up here. Feeling into the lumbar spine, the low back area. Allowing the muscles to breathe here, slowly stretching open. If it feels okay, you can continue to release the spine over. Maybe head comes down towards the floor. If there's any restriction or compression, just slowly back off a little bit. Good, and then continue breathing. Noticing what you feel in your body in this moment. Mm, nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up to seated. Good. Give yourself a minute here. Just allow everything to resettle. Let the blood pressure stabilize. Bring the spine back in line. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and move into our chest. So we'll start by squeezing the shoulder blades together. And just notice what that does to the pec muscles on the front of your body here. Feel the collarbones open up. Now you have a couple options. 
Um, I think this chair is a little lower than my chair at home, so I could maybe take it over the top of it. So if your chair is low enough, just take your spine over the back of your chair. You can always push your shoulders into the top of the chair. And then open up your arms here so that the pec muscles continue to spread out and stretch away from one another. And then take the gaze gently and softly up, right? Just looking maybe right where the ceiling meets the wall. You want to keep it nice and easy, but still allowing the muscles and the tissue around the throat to open up. Good. And then just continuing to breathe. Feel the abdominal muscles stretch open and expand with every breath in. And then notice everything soften and relax with the breath out. Continuing to let the entire front body open up here. Releasing any tension, letting go of any control. And just keeping the breath smooth and steady. Mm, nice job, you guys. Take one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up towards seated. Awesome job, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, so now we will move into our arms, our upper extremities. Um, so we'll start with flexion here at the shoulder. And that's just drawing this arm bone up and away from the body. So um, regardless of the position that you're in, this whole range is considered flexion. So just be where it feels best in your body. Feel the sensations and continue to breathe into the stretch. I will guide with fingers in between one another. If you're able to do that, I strongly recommend it. Um, that way you can really get some more range of mobility in the fingers and the palm and really the entire hand. So uh, again, if you can get fingers in between each other, you always have the option of taking a cupped grip, so just clasping the hands over one another. You can always utilize the strength of one arm to assist the other. And then of course you can just take the option of raising one arm as well. So once again, wherever you're at in your body for today, just be there and continue. So again, I'm guiding with fingers in between one another, back to my starting position, hips are heavy, feet are flat, and my spine long and lifted. Take a deep breath in, and as you inhale, lift those fingers up and over, maybe in the direction of the ceiling. Mm, good, and then continue to breathe here. You shouldn't feel forced, there shouldn't be any pain. Just notice where you're at, breathing into that stretch. If your hands are up over your head, try to relax the shoulders a little bit while you feel a stretch through the side bodies and the armpits. Good. And if your hands aren't quite up over your head, that's okay. Just notice where you're at in that posture. Feel into the stretch, whatever it is for you. And just keep breathing into sensation. Mm, nice job, you guys. Smooth and steady. If it feels good in your body, on your next breath, maybe reach those hands up and over. Maybe deep in the stretch. Whatever feels best for you, but keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Don't have any pain. Keep breathing so it feels good. And then slowly, slowly, as you're ready, bring those arms back down. Release some. Um, nice job, you guys. All right, we are going to go ahead and get into our scapular glides. So I'm going to turn to the side. I still don't have a table or a flat surface to show you. <laughs> but if you have a table or a flat surface, I recommend placing your hands on top of it. And then what we're going to do here is just take our fingertip up and away from the body. So what we're trying to do is pull the shoulder blades up and around the rib cage. So if you need to feel the difference, take your shoulder blades back towards one another, squeeze them on the back here, and then pull them away from each other, right? So you're 
creating space on the back side of your body. And again, again, continuing to pull those fingers up and away. Just continuing to breathe, keeping it nice and easy, not forcing anything. Good, smooth and steady. Take another deep breath in as you reach those fingers away from your body. And then exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up towards seated. Nice job, you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn and face you once more. And now we'll get into the back side of our arms here. So once again, come to a nice tall seat, lengthen through the spine, top of the head reaches towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and then reach the right arm up and across here. Just fingertips moving away from the body. That's option number one. Option number two, go ahead and bring your hand on the opposite shoulder. Maybe give it a gentle tug. See what you feel on the back side of this right arm. And then option number three, of course, you're going to take your opposite hand and squeeze that arm in towards the body. Mm, good. And continue to breathe here. Once again, no forcing, no pain. This should feel nice and easy. Continuing to be in your body. Feel into the breath. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let it go. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So once again, we'll sit up nice and tall. And then left arm comes up and across the body, reaching the fingers in the opposite direction here. Good. That's option number one. Option number two, grab a hold of the opposite shoulder and just give it a gentle tug. See what you feel on the backside of the left arm. And then option number three is to utilize your other hand here and pull that arm in towards your body. Just a nice gentle squeeze to deepen the stretch. And it should feel good, no discomfort. Mm. Good, continuing to breathe into the stretch, smooth and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release, let it go. Awesome job. All right, you guys. Um, oh, shoulder rolls, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take your shoulders up to your ears and then back down again, up to the ears and back down again. Good. And just start to feel into the muscles and the tissues and the shoulders neck, the upper back, maybe go forward as well as backwards, whatever feels best for you. Just continue to breathe into this and do whatever feels best. Nice job, you guys. All right, come on back through center. We'll return to our starting position once again. So our feet are flat on the floor, hips are heavy, rooting down towards the ground. Feel your spine get long and lifted as the shoulders relax. You can gently pull the tummy in here just to support the core. And then take the top of your head up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Good, and then just start to breathe. Letting go of any tension, letting go of any holding, both physical and mental. See if there's anything that you can release in this moment. Good, just continuing to breathe into the left side of the neck. You watch and feel as the muscles soften and stretch away from one another. Just continuing to let go with every exhale. Nice job. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up towards seated. Nice job, you guys. We'll switch sides. So inhale, 
sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Good, and once more, just see if you can let go. Allowing the weight of gravity to gently draw the head over towards the left. We breathe into the right side of the neck this time. Watching and feeling as the muscles and tissues draw away from one another. Easing into the stretch. Continuing to release any bit of tension or holding with every breath. You guys take another deep breath in here and as you exhale slowly drop the chin down towards the chest and just begin to make small circles with the head and the neck watching and feeling as the stretch moves through all corners of the cervical spine Breathing into sensation. Making sure to switch directions as you're ready. Noticing the difference from side to side. Or maybe there's no difference. Either way, just feeling. Feeling into the muscles and the tissues. Good. As you're ready, come on back through center. Bring your head back in line with your spine. We'll return to the starting position. Lower half of the body is heavy and rooting towards the floor. Upper half of the body is upright, long and tall, lengthening through the spine. Shoulders are relaxed. We'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you once more to close the eyes here. As we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath. Nice job, you guys. Softly blink the eyes open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that ends our stretches for today. So thank you guys so much for joining for that portion. Um, as I said, we got a little different setup going on back at home with my parents for the week. So uh, yeah, this will be our setting, but stretches and mindfulness will continue as they always have. So um, give me one second. I'm going to get set up for mindfulness here. And uh, then we'll get going on that. So just hold tight. Thanks. All right. Let's see. A little bit of a different setup, right? So rolling with the punches as we always do. Just uh, making the most of it, right? All right. Good. Good morning, Robert. Yes, straight beast mode. That's what we're doing with these stretches here. <laughs> and Don, happy silly day. You know, I feel a little silly today just because I'm out of my element and I'm not in my normal space. Um, but similar to the moth incident last week, it's another opportunity to let go of control right? Let go of all the things that we think should be or how it should be um, and just try to release, right? So um, I'll go ahead and read the quote again today for anyone that missed the beginning of the video. And it says, the goal of meditation isn't to control your thoughts, it's to stop letting them control you. 
right? And I think oftentimes we see this um, well, most often with negative thoughts, right? Whether it's sadness or worry, um, those thoughts will take over and sometimes they, they are very real in a physical way, right? Think of um, kind of some of the physical man manifestations that stress can cause, right? Whether it's our circulation, our heart, our breathing. Um, sometimes people break out in rashes or, you know, there's all these physical manifestations of stress. And it's really about our thoughts taking over our body. So what we're trying to do with mindfulness, with meditation, um, we're not trying to add another element of control. We're actually trying to let go of that control and allow our thoughts to come and go as they will, right? We're, we're never going to turn our brains off, um, but simply acknowledging that those thoughts are coming and going and then acknowledging that they don't have to define us. They don't have to um, take hold of us. And so, of course, it's a practice, right? But when we feel our physical body reacting to our thoughts, that's where we can focus on the breath. We can do one of our mindfulness practices and just try to tune into this current moment, realizing that what our thoughts are thinking versus what our physical body is doing can be two totally separate things. We don't have to let our thoughts control our body in that sense. So... Um, today, our, our practice, and we've done this once before, I think, but um, once or twice, I should say, we're actually going to force the control by contracting our muscles, and then we're going to let go. So it's, um, it's a progressive muscle relaxation practice, and it is a two-step process, which you systemically, excuse me, systematically tense and then relax different parts of the body. So I will guide you guys through this. The only thing that you have to worry about is just finding a relaxed position. Um, I'll guide you both in, through, and out of it. And what we'll be doing is directing our attention to different parts of the body, getting a nice contraction, tensing them up, you know, engaging those muscles for about five to 10 seconds, and then letting go. And what that's going to allow us to do first physically is to feel the difference, feel the difference in tension and holding and maybe even anxiety or stress, and then feel the difference of trying to let that go and what does that do for your body. And then in turn, the hope is that with regular practice, it helps you do it with your mind, right? So when our thoughts are all crazy and hectic, you know, maybe we do that practice where we pull everything together, tighten everything, and then see if we can let it go. And that's a, it's an example of what we're trying to do with our minds as well and our thoughts. So again, all you guys have to do is relax. Um, don't let this be something it shouldn't or it doesn't have to be. If you're having a hard time with it, just continue to breathe and focus on the moment, right? Um, let go of those expectations as well. So, all right. So. Once again, just come find a nice, comfortable position. Maybe you're seated in the chair that you are in for um, stretches. Maybe you're lying down if that is safe and comfortable. And then just start to ease into the position, ease into relaxation. Hmm. Take a soft breath in here. As you exhale, just let everything go. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Turn your gaze inward. And continue to soften. Continue to let go.
with your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself. Visualizing you as you are in this moment, comfortable, relaxed, breath flowing in, flowing out. Simply allow yourself Just breathe easy and observe yourself as you are in this moment. Continuing with your eyes closed, bring your awareness down into your feet. See if you can visualize them as they are. And then maybe, maybe bring a little motion to your feet. Just seeing what it feels like to curl, curl the toes under, clenching the soles of the feet. Noticing maybe a little difference from left to right. Seeing if you can energetically engage both feet here. And then as you're ready, squeeze everything in, curl your toes under, tighten the soles of your feet, clench everything up for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Release the muscles, release the holding. And notice, notice the difference. And feel the wave of relaxation wash down your feet. As you're ready, draw the attention up the legs into the calves and the muscles around the shins feeling into the lower half of your leg. And once again, start to engage those muscles, maybe clenching the calves, squeezing everything in towards the bone. And then as you're ready, tighten, tighten all the muscles, clench the calves here for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing any holding seeing any control, breathing into the sensation of relaxation. Continuing to move up the legs, bring your attention into your thighs, feeling the calf, excuse me, the hamstring muscles and the quad muscles, feeling the tissues all the way from the knees up to the hips to squeeze and engage, clenching the muscles. And when you're ready, pull everything in, tighten everything in your thighs for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Release the holding, release the tension. Feel into the sensation Simply releasing. When you're ready, draw your awareness into your hips and your glutes. Feel into your low belly and your pelvic floor. Feel into all the muscles right around the pelvic girdle and the hips. And as you're ready, squeeze and engage, tighten everything. Tighten your seat muscles and your low belly. Pull everything in for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Breathing into the feeling of relaxation. Go 
allowing the wave of release to wash over your muscles. And then just for a moment, feel into the entire lower half of your body, noticing your muscles as they sit at ease, relax, free of any tension or holding. soft breath in and a soft breath out when you're ready draw your attention back into the body coming in to your trunk feeling into your low belly and your back actually just keeping all the attention on the front side of the body Feeling in your core and your pec muscles, everything on the front side. Feel your belly button pull in, your pec muscles engage, maybe your shoulders round forward. And then squeeze everything into the front of your body, tightening all the muscles for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the core muscles. Releasing the pecs. Continuing to breathe into the tissues as they let go of any holding, any tension. As you're ready, feeling into the back side of your body, noticing your spinal muscles. Feeling in between your shoulder blades. Maybe your chest rounds backwards as your heart pulls forward. Putting a small arch through your entire back. Engaging all the muscles behind you. And as you're ready, pulling everything together and squeezing for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Uh, just breathing into your torso, into your spine, feeling as all the muscles are softened, releasing, letting go of any holding or tension. Drawing your awareness up out of your torso and down into your hands, feeling into your fingers and your palms, top of your hands, just start to notice. Maybe start to clench the fists, engage the muscles, feel into that sensation. And then as you're ready, squeeze your hands into little fists, tightening all the muscles, clenching everything towards one another, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Feeling the wave of release as it washes over your hands. Noticing what it feels like to completely let go of control. Let go of any holding. As you're ready, draw the awareness up into the lower part of your arms. Feeling into your forearms and your wrists. Engaging the muscles between your elbows, down to your hands, and then tightening everything, pulling all your tissues and muscles into midline, into bones, squeezing everything for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Noticing what it feels like to soften. Notice the difference between holding on and letting go. As you're ready, draw your awareness and your attention up into your biceps, into your shoulders, feeling into your triceps, wrapping the awareness all around the upper arm bone and just starting to engage 
Maybe you squeeze your forearms up to your biceps, or maybe you tighten the triceps. Just engage all the muscles here in your upper arms. Tighten everything in for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing everything, softening. Just letting go of any tension or holding. As so you're ready, bring the awareness up to the tops of your shoulders, maybe into the lower half of your neck squeezing the shoulders up to your ears, pulling everything in towards center, feeling all the muscles in the shoulder girdle and the upper spine, and squeeze everything in for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Letting go of any tension, any hold. Feeling the sensation of relaxation wash over you. As you're ready, draw your awareness up the neck and into your skull. Starting to feel into the facial muscles, the jaw, the muscles around the ears, and even at the back of your skull. Feeling into the soft tissue that covers your face and your head. Just start to maybe squeeze it, clench the eyes, clench the jaw. Feel all the muscles of the head pull in and tighten around the bones, squeezing everything in for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Hmm. Noticing the difference. Noticing what it feels like to let go. Let go of any holding or tension or control. As you're ready, bring your awareness all the way back through the body. Noticing you. As you are seated from head to toe, feel into all the muscles. And then as you're ready, clenching everything up, squeezing the feet and the calves and the thighs, tightening around the hips and the low belly and the back and the chest, clenching the fists and squeezing the arms and shoulders, tightening the muscles around the face and the skull, pull everything in, tighten your whole body, Squeeze everything in as much as you can for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Allow yourself to just feel. Feel into your physical form. Noticing the difference in your muscles as they sit here now. Relax. At ease. Free of any tension. Soft breath in, and a soft breath out. A soft breath in, and a soft breath out.
Notice. Notice. Your mental tension has been able to let go along with the physical tension. Can you release any thoughts? Acknowledge them, see them as they are, and then let them go. seen any hold that they might have on your mind or your body. And just breathing, breathing into the sensation of ease, breathing into the feeling of relaxation. changing or forcing or trying to fix anything. Just allowing yourself to be here in this moment. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. If you wish to stay here, continue breathing and feeling. By all means, please do so. Give yourself the time and the space simply be at ease. Releasing any control your thoughts might have on you. And simply just being. When you're ready, as you're ready, slowly blink the eyes open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And just notice. Maybe even with your eyes open, notice if you still have the feeling of ease. Notice if you can feel the difference in your physical body, your energetic body, and your mental energy. Just releasing any control it might have. meditation isn't to control your thoughts. It's to stop letting them control you. Thank you guys so much for joining again. I appreciate you continuing to show up for yourselves, continuing to connect. And despite my different settings, we're still here for you guys. We are going to continue this practice as long as we can. And I appreciate you guys showing up to it every day. So thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Continue to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And um, I'll see you again back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Have a good one. Take care.